Hello folks and welcome to another installment of Scottish Vapes And today, well I've got a bit of a confession to make I did say I was going to do a comparison video for the TFRTA and the Griffin 25 RTA The thing is though, I cancelled my order on the Griffin RTA Because something else came to my attention which I thought I had to go and get a look at And it came to me because it was something really, really unusual. Um, it's like a dripper, but it's like a tank. So all that together, you get the Limitless RDTA. What a cracking idea. So first we shall take a look at the package, shall we? Now, it is... I can't tell if it's manufactured by iJoy or if it's produced by iJoy. Either it's an Android and Limitless collaboration. I just let's just say that. Um, so the packaging we have here is so this is where your tank would be or dripper, whatever you want to call it. This is where it would be. So nice, nice flowy packaging. Very nice. So here you have some uh, their social media accounts as you can go and find them. Um, some things about the tank itself. Just a disclaimer. Basically, if you're going to build and you screw it up and you hurt yourself, they will not be held responsible for that. Uh, oops. Um, here it says iJoy and Limitless. And on the back, some specs for yourself. And I can, I can control card as well. So, take this off. And you remove. Oh. And you remove this. That's where your tank would be, and this is your extra bag of goodies. And none of that, there's nothing else. Checked. Now inside here, you will get some grub screws, two Allen keys, two pre-made coils, I could say, reads out at 0.37 ohms, um, and some extra seals. You can change them over to be red. I tried, and it fell off. Whilst before I didn't notice that until I filled it up and put it all together. So. A bit screwed up on that one, but here is the start of the show. Now, you get this little attachment in the goodie bag as well, which to me makes the, the draw tight. It reduces the airflow. If you don't like it, if you think it's too airy, stick this on the drip tip. Ah, back to the show guy. So this is your little like, kind of shuff cap style type thing. Oh, I'm about to pull off the whole thing. Well, there you go. So, we'll get back to that. This is your build deck. So as you can see, I've used the two pre-installed uh, coils because I stupidly forgot my coil master kit. Uh, I've changed the O-rings to red because I prefer red. Didn't change those, these ones here, because when I did, they weren't the correct thickness. They weren't, they were too thin. They wouldn't hold the glass tank down. Um, and as a result, I just left it the way it, where it was. Um, let me get this back to where it was supposed to be. Right, and we're back. Anyway, so you've got your your build deck here, two coils, velocity style deck. Um, the two coils are at point three seven. And here is a little quick fill up area for yourself. So if you're on the go, runs out, pop your thing in there, fill it up. Now it says online and on the packaging as well, it takes four mils of liquid. This is completely wrong. It takes five. They've, under, they've underlined this here. So this does take five. I know it takes five because I put a 10 mil bottle through it, had five mils left. So it takes five mil. Um, and you can remove this here as well. If I can get this over, there we go. So, this is exactly how you would build it. So, coils in, cotton down. I mean, I the way I cut it is I take the glass off and I cut it just as it touches the bottom rim here. Just as it touches this right here. Uh, so the cotton itself is floating just above the very bottom. So no matter what, 
it's going to get fed because the way I look at it, if you if you cut your cotton just here, when it starts to get below, it's not going to get any, it's not going to get fed any more liquid. So, um, to me, that would be a problem because I mean, you're drawing out the liquid quite a bit. Um, now I'm not going to show you this because I I don't know if this is going to leak, but it does have a protruding 510 connection um, and it's hybrid compatible as well it's gold plated 510 pin the pin can be fully adjusted and yeah what else what else what else you get a chuff cap which if I can get out for you guys So this is your chuff cap, basically this little big guy here. There is only one thing I don't really like about this, to be quite honest with you guys, and that is the chuff cap itself. I mean, I can't get my lips around that quite well. Um, and if it, if the thing does get quite hot, you're going to know, because you're touching it, basically. You're, there's no way around that. And that is rather annoying, to say the least. Um, there's a little marking right here with a little drip to tell you where that little hole is so you can, you know, where you're going to put your ball and it's 70 watts on an X-Cube 2 it's great it's the What's the word I'm looking for? What's the word I'm looking for? The everyday uses of a tank, but with the flavour from an RDA. That's that's how I look at it. It's a dripper with the tank attached to the bottom of it. So you get everything that's good about a dripper, but with none of the spoils. So you're not you're not sitting there vaping for about five minutes, dripping constantly, which pisses me off consistently every time I do it it pisses me off because just when I'm starting to enjoy myself I get a dry hit and I have to drip again yes if you're cloud chasing that you've that's the basis of it that's the whole point that's the whole point of it the only way you can really do massive humongous clouds is with dripping basically but although I've got two drippers and I enjoy them if I was going to drip this is what I'm going to use now because although the, the juice won't last long especially with it, whatever build you've got in there. It won't last long, but it is great. It's very, very good. And it's cheap as well. It's so cheap for it. 30 quid. That's what I paid for it. I, I got it in a shop in, um, in Edinburgh today. And I can't remember the shop. What was it? Aqua Vapor. That's it. Aqua Vapor. Um, walked in. Asked for something like an RTA. Suggested this if I could build. Yeah, um, and I took it, I, I grabbed it, I saw this getting advertised everywhere and I grabbed it and it's been fantastic, I've had no problems with it, um, to be honest I wouldn't leave it on its side, I'll be honest, I won't leave it on its side, um, I suspect you would leak juice if you left it on its side, just, just well, because it is still a dripper, um, but it's great, I love it, I think it's great. Um, I will do, uh, I'll put a link in the description below to where you can buy this. I'll try and find Aqua Vapor's website so you can check those guys out. Um, I'll put a link to my Instagram, let you see guys what I'm doing there. And yeah, my only real con is, is that, is that chuff cap. You can't use your own 510 connections on it. You, there's no change and you can't go on iJoy or Limitless to buy another chuff cap for it, which they need to do. Um, you can get this in black or stainless steel. I have this in stainless steel for matching sake. Um, but yeah, it, I, I love this tank. It's great. I use it on my artery nugget quite a lot. Um, and it fires great. 50 watts, it fires perfectly on that. Fires brilliantly on that. Um, and you get good cloud. The flavour is amazing. It's, it does 
do what it says on the box. It does give you the flavour from an RDA, but with the ease of use of a tank. So it's great, it's, it's perfect in my opinion. And that concludes this instalment of Scottish Vapes. Thank you for watching guys, I do appreciate it, and um, I will catch you guys later on. See you later.